Hello, this is John from the Haunt Informer, and today I'm talking about daytime events slash seasonal events that are family friendly that haunt attractions put on. Lots of different haunt attractions actually have a family friendly permanent location on their property, and it has a whole bunch of different things that kids can do. They have areas where you can see goats and feed them, you can see pig races, and you could just meet mobile barnyard animals, have a farm feel to it, and there can be uh, corn mazes, corn trails, they can have a family themed hayride, you can pick a pumpkin and paint a pumpkin and carve a pumpkin. There can be fun slides and they also can have giant trampolines and they can have these giant pillows you can jump on and all kinds of fun stuff for kids and uh, little arts and crafts they can do and that whole experience where it looks like you're mining for gold, they have that thing where you get a bag and you can put it through the water and it you can sift through it and find what you find and they have all kinds of fun stuff like that during daytime events that they have during the day before they open the haunt attraction during that night or they have that open during the week and then have the haunt open for the weekend and lots of haunt attractions do that and they also do seasonal events for the holiday season for the Christmas time they have mobile trails they have. Sometimes they convert those into Christmas trails and have all kinds of Christmas decorations up, whether they're inflatables or statics and all kinds of fun displays. And they might even have you count Santas when you're going through with a bunch of Santas. And of course, you can meet Santa at the end and there's candy canes and different soundtracks and all kinds of festive stuff and projections, of course, and all kinds of great things. This is another way the haunts can make revenue. They can be open for these family friendly events and they can be more open to a wider audience because not everybody wants to go to a haunted attraction and get scared. Lots of people do and I'm one of the people that love it. Obviously I'm a haunt act here but some people really don't like being scared and just don't want to do that and they have a family and they say hey let's go to this fun family event. Let's do that and maybe they might even um, put dip their toe in the water and say, you know what, we're here, it's gone later, it's gone dark, I'll buy a ticket to go on a hayride, whatever the hayride's called at the haunted attraction, let me do that and see if that's too scary for me, and they might end up having a really good time and saying, hey, that was a lot of fun, I thoroughly enjoyed that hayride, it was scary, but it was also very thrilling and fun, and I really enjoyed the set design and everything, how about I go through the rest of it um, tonight or come back another day with my friends and go through the other attractions and the hayride. So when you're doing the marketing for your haunt attraction and your daytime events, you can have one side with the family friendly event on it and on the other side of the flyer, talk about the haunt attraction that's scary or you could have an entire brochure that's just about the family friendly one and about the haunt attraction. So you can have all kinds of fun with it. Like I was saying earlier, you can have a trail that is family friendly and themed to the holidays and Christmas time for the kids and they can have a good time with that and you can have a bonfire so they can sit by the fire and warm up some and then walk on the rest of the trail and they can roast s'mores and make s'mores and get hot chocolate with or without marshmallows and snacks and all kinds of good stuff like that. Make it a fun family atmosphere and not only could you be running that during that night or mobile nights, you also could then theme one attraction or mobile haunt attractions on that same property to a Christmas theme, add a creepy Christmas twist to it, and have Santa hats and all kinds of fun decorations. And I'll have videos about Christmas haunts linked in the corner. Also for your marketing, if you do parades, Halloween parades, when you have your characters walking around with whether it's a hearse or a themed car or a float, any of those different things, you could have them give out flyers or you could have people that are just not scary and that are just people that are working for the company that are people that like work on it year round. You can have them walking around with the characters, not in a scary outfit saying, hey, we have a family-friendly event. You can come during the day, bring your family, have a great time. It's not scary at all. So there is so much fun to be had with these events. It will make haunt attractions more extra revenue. So in case you didn't know, haunt attractions do this all across the country. 
and have really good success with it. So just to let everybody know, this is what's happening with the haunt industry. I have been John from the Haunt Informer, and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get a notification every single time of a new video. Give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And I am on social media. I am on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. You can find all those links in the description below. And as always, happy hauntings.